It's the sixth year of the Territories Country to Couture Showcase, bringing together Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander artists to display contemporary art through high-end fashion. This year's collection is bigger, with the models hitting the runway tonight. Oh, very excited. It's my first time, so a bit nerve-wracking, but um, I'm very excited. I feel really at home. Like, I'm not nervous or anything, but it feels like special to me. Wiradjuri woman Denny Francisco has been a fashion designer for three years and is excited to see Indigenous art come to life. I think that um, the light that's been shone on Indigenous fashion right now is, is uh, it's timely and we certainly have a space in the Indigenous, uh, sorry, in the, in the fashion space, but I do look forward to the time where it's not something that's unusual. For Danny, her passion for the craft all started at her home in Victoria. I got into fashion uh, by being a, a single parent uh, making clothing for my daughter and then people saying, can you do that for me, can I get that outfit for my daughter. Now her work is being recognised across the country, with her receiving the Fashion Design Award last night at the National Indigenous Fashion Awards. I'd like to thank my family, Our family and community is everything. It's all last minute touch ups for the models before the show starts. But for Kamika, this experience has been extra special. The culture and getting to be a part of it and as well as like getting to be around people and meet new people. Bringing culture to life on the catwalks of Darwin. Peter Lacey, ABC News. Still to come this hour, the life threatening legacy of the mouse plague. The virus has um, passed on from rodents. I was the first person ever to contract it in, in Australia. To come out of it alive and very little side effects, yeah, I'm, I'm extremely lucky.